हेलो एवरीवन टुडे ऑन दिस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक टूल ऑफ एपिडेमियोलॉजी सो द एपिडेमियोलॉजी ऑलरेडी नोन इट इज द स्टडी ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ डिजीज एंड द हेल्थ रिलेटेड इवेंट्स दैट दैट ऑकर्स इन अ पॉपुलेशन सो द हेल्थ रिलेटेड इवेंट्स इज द is a is a risk factor so we have to measure in the epidemiological study we have to measure this risk factor and get by collecting the informations or we gather this uh, gather the data and organize this data and characterize for the comparison and the evaluations of the study result so you know everything measurement is required without measurement any study will be inaccurate so the as you were measuring about the populations so we need some biostatistics so in biostatistics is considered as the fundamental fundamental tool of epidemiology so now we are going to discuss about the basic tool of epidemiology so three basic tool of epidemiology are one is the rate another is the ratio and another last one is the proportion so in the rate let's see what is the what is the what is rate what is ratio and what is proportion so the rate is the frequency of events that occur in a defined time period so as it is rate is there so rate means some time limits or the time factor will be there so the, the frequency of events that occur in a defined time period divided by average population of a prix so uh, that uh, there the two factor uh, if you put in a uh, number so one is the numerator uh, numerator and the the lower part is the denominator so here the numerator is the the num the frequency of it that occur those who are uh, those who are uh, in disease conditions the or those who are uh, in the in disease uh, or those who are in the disease and denominator is the total number of population those who are in the risk okay so these are the uh, total number of population in the same year okay so the time factor is there and the another element is the constant multiplier is given that is maybe 1000 or 10000 and the 100000 also so if you express it if, if you are going to express this the formula is n by d into constant multiplier so the n is the numerator and d is the denominator you numerum here the numerator is the part of the denominator because you are uh, the uh, the whole part from this uh, denominator the numerator is the part is the part of the denominator so if you give example it will be easily remember that mm max that's the maternal mortality rate so maternal mortality mortality means means death so the maternal means the mothers who are in pregnancy antenatal time or in uh, during the time of de delivery or after uh, after delivery 42 days so th if the death occur in three circumstances if the death of the mother occur in the three circumstances by the total number of live birth given by the mother total number of mother who given a live birth child in the same year in the same year with uh, if we multi and uh, multiply by uh, the 1000 or 10000 and that is called the mmr okay so maternal mortality rate it is the total number of mother death due to the maternal condition that is uh, that is a circumstance of pregnancy antenatal and childbirth or the 42 sub delivery in a given time given year because uh, rate is there rate means there is a time factor is there and given year by the total number of females that given a live birth of the child into a multiplier that may be 1000 or 10000 and 100000 so this is about the maternal mortality rate so here the numerator is the part of the denominator second that is the ratio so it is a fractional number here we are going to compare uh, between the two random quantity okay so it gives a relation between the two random quantities okay so what is two random quantity uh, so the numerator is not a part of denominator because numerator and denominator have no relationship either then the formula is if you express it in formula then that is n by d okay n is to d uh, numerator by denominator so 
for example the ratio of a female in 1000 probably going to the uh, male to female ratio or the female to male ratio so the number of female in 1000 male so uh, 9, 900 if uh, 933 females are there and 933 females is to 1000 male or uh, it, if you take an uh, example of doctors to populations so in a population of 1000 there there is two doctors are there that is two is to uh, 1000 so that is the uh, ratio so it is ex it is always a fractional number okay and the numerator is a not part of the denominator because female is a gender and the male is the gender doctor is the separate one and population is the other thing they are not uh, related all our things are not related to each other so that is the ratio next is the proportion so it is a ratio but it's which indicates the relation in magnitude is a part of the whole but it indicates the relation of magnitude magnitude of a part of a whole so the numerator is always included in the denominator it is always present in the denominator so if you express it then is expressed in the percentage so example Suppose we take uh, in a populations, total population of the female of an area is uh, area is 9,690 and within them uh, 2,134 females they have taken some contraceptive devices. So th these females are the part of you say they are on the to in, the in total populations they are also included in the total populations. So where the so total population so if we express in the uh, proportion then the number of mother number of uh, women taking the integrated devices or uh, contraceptive devices by the total number of uh, female uh, female populations as you are expressing in percentage so we multiply 100 there so the result will be 30.5 percentage so the here the result will be excess in the percentage form so this is all about the basic tool of measurement so the important uh, important point of this lecture is that the biostatistics is the fundamental tool of epidemiology and what are the three main basic tools that is the rate ratio and the proportion rate indicating the time time factor is there so here three elements one is the numerator next is denominator and the time factor so it's the frequency the number of frequency the frequency of debates that occurs in a defined type divided by the average population of a risk so the numerator is the part of the denominator so it is uh, in a constant multiplier is there and uh, the, so what are the maternal mortality rates so the number of female death due to the pregnancy or in childbirth and uh, after 42 period period in the same in a given year by the total number of mother that given life birth of the child in the in the same area in the same year so that is the uh, maternal maternal next the ratio ratio is the always a fraction number it is the relation between the two random random quantities so it is expressed in or uh, in a uh, frac it is a uh, uh, it is a fractional number so here n by d so here the n is not a part of the denominator in a proportion it is expressed in percentage and it is always uh, it is always included in the denominator it is always included in that denominator so here is the the total population we are talking about this this uh, black area so uh, so this black this uh, spot area is included in the total area so this is the numerator is included in the denominator or you say it is a part of the whole we are talking about a part of the whole okay so that is the percentage and it is always expressed in um, the, that is the proportion it is expressed in percentage this is all about this is all about the uh, the topic of uh, basic tool of measurement thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel